Cosplay Sanctuary on YouTube. This is your host, Scotty B. And joining me, as always, is Astrovoid Cosplay, the enigmatic and the charismatic co-host. <laughs> oh my goodness. Hello, hello. Always love being here. <laughs> Thank you for having me, as always. How are yes, you, yes. Scotty? I'm, I'm doing OK. Um, just trying to keep up with everything. There's a lot going on with the show. And there's a lot going on in general. I haven't talked about it, but there is a website coming soon. Don't have it up just yet, but working really hard to get that out so that we can have even more cool stuff going on for you. Um, yeah, I'm just really excited. I'm not even going to talk too much about it, but you know, heroesofcosplaysanctuary.com will be a thing, and I will definitely be sharing that with you when it comes out. So looking forward to that. And really, um, you know, no changes in this always being a safe, spa safe space for you to share your tips and tricks and stories and the fandoms that make all of the cosplay world possible. So much fun today. Really, I just wanted to talk a little bit to you about the live versus recorded discussion that goes on inside of the cosplay world with content. And really, I guess um, your take on that, Astra, I know that there's there's a place for everything so there's there's a place for for recording content and there's a place for live content sometimes the mix is better but being um i guess i'll say someone from my generation might be a little bit more um they might feel a little bit easier or better with the recorded stuff versus live do you have a preference is there anything that really just sticks out about how you record your content um depends i like for example like tiktoks like obviously it has to be recorded and you know um but i do sometimes go live and i'll have live streams and stuff like that and they're fun they can be fun but you also kind of have to deal with some creeps sometimes and it can be tough to deal with that stuff you know in a split second on air and, and have to deal with stuff happening but um yeah i i tend to prefer to just kind of do my thing and record my thing and then post my thing later and not have to worry about it. And uh, that way you can also do as many takes as you want. So that's usually the better way to go for me. Yeah, I like being able to edit. I like being able to have a couple of swings at bat versus just going live and kind of making it up as I go along a little bit. Uh, even though that can happen with recordings too, um, you know, I do like to get as much as I can in one take and not have to go back. Uh, we really don't, or at least we haven't, we haven't really crossed into that, have we? <laughs> as far as, as like, going back and like, no, 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 let's, let's redo this whole episode. Like we, we really haven't yeah. had to do anything like that quite yet. So. No, we also just have really good banter, I think, but yeah, we, we've never had a situation where we record all the thing and we go, start over. <laughs> um, I'm sure maybe it'll happen one day, but we, we tend to just kind of go off of each other and we just kind of wing it. Uh, not in a bad way, we have show notes, but it's it's more of a natural sort of flow yeah it's it's not like i mean and there's there's a lot of variety of things that we talk about so it's not like we'll get stuck necessarily on one thing or, or another thing so it can seem a little bit more organic and i think that's one of the things that people tend to like with their if they're gravitating towards live they like that organic feel they like being able to get into the comments which of course you can't do when you're doing a recording but from, you know, from my standpoint, I don't know. I don't know if I could handle Twitch. Twitch is a lot of dedication and commitment to being in your time slot. And that's also something to consider. Have you thought about Twitch at all? I thought about it. Um, I don't know if I would do well with it. I don't really have like a setup per se. Um, and I'm not really sure. I also know that it's, it's a lot of work and not always a lot of payoff. Uh, so I have not done Twitch yet, really, but if it were, if it were to be something that people would request and it would be like a heavy requested thing, then I might look into it, but not yet. But yeah, there's a lot that goes into it. It's, it's not easy to be a streamer and have all that energy. And then you have to also be good at video games, uh, in some cases, I guess you could just go on and talk, um, and then, you know, link to discord, but you really like it is a fairly uh, difficult thing to be able to get into gaming and, and be either competitive or compelling uh, in that space. That might not be my strongest suit. So I will stick with recording and editing and doing all the fun stuff with YouTube. I do 
like doing that more. And I guess I feel that it works better with just a schedule as far as being able to batch content and being able to, you know, do multiple things at once versus Twitch where you kind of have to be there when you need to. You know, if you have if you have a, a Twitch stream at 6 p.m. on Saturday night, that's kind of where it is. And that's that's what you get graded on inside of Twitch too, is you know how long you're spending on platform streaming, and that's how you get your money too. But with YouTube, not quite so much. I mean, it's really, uh, people can find you anytime, any place, the videos go up and they stay there. So it's not necessarily a volume thing or anything like that, but if you have your content all ready to go and all set up, it's working for you all the time. You, you don't have to come back to it. You can still do live. We'll get into that sometime. Um, <laughs> probably yeah, 850 followers from now. Um, that super chat becomes a thing and super chat is actually a pretty cool thing so yes i would definitely look into doing something like that and i do recommend it for people who are on youtube when they get to the threshold um to take a look at super chat yeah one of the benefits to live streaming um at least for TikTok, because like that's the that's the place that i know really well um scotty's more of the youtube side of things but um for me personally it's i i've learned that if you go live after you post a video uh, usually it'll push your video to the For You page more and you have more chance of uh, building things and going viral and such and such. Um, but going live on TikTok has been more beneficial to me, I believe, than going like live on other platforms. Um, it just seems more rewarding and I have more of an engagement there. So if I ever really do go live, it's usually going to be over there. And um, yeah. The point of the episode today wasn't to like go into like this huge, huge in-depth talk about any of these things. Like I wanted this to be kind of a shorter episode, um, but that, you know, the main thing, whether you're doing live or whether you're doing recorded is to have that consistency and quality and know your topic and have the energy and, you know, just uh, decide which one you want to do. But when you're picking a lane that you're not just doing it to crank out more content or to just be more visible mm -hmm. that the whole idea is you're still being consistent with your audience and you're still putting a lot of energy and effort into what you're doing to make that compelling and get that no like and trust which is what people are coming to you for pastra would you like to take us out as always yes um thank you guys so much for watching thank you guys for being here uh, i appreciate all of you and if you would like to give us a like or a comment that would be great uh if you would subscribe that would make me very happy uh <laughs> not that you might you might not care about my happiness but um <laughs> it'd be very cool if you did and uh yeah thank you guys as always and of course if you want to find our socials here's the cosplay sanctuary podcast and Astrovoid cosplay across literally everything. If you find one, you will find them all. I have my link tree in my bio of everything. So thank you guys, and we'll see you in the next episode.